Good morning. I would like to express my deepest condolences to Dr. Jacqueline, Leroy, Shia, Jamil, Maria, and their three lovely daughters, Jessica, Alexandra, and Sophia. I personally met Saul thanks to Beverly, his sister-in-law, after a soccer game of my San Francisco more than a decade ago when she asked me about coaching positions in our club. I realized very quickly Beverly's confidence in recommending Saul was well-founded. The Saul was a fantastic coach. I am not only going to express my thoughts, but those of so many coaches, players, and parents from our club when I say Sue was the best coach we had. Sue cared deeply about his players, supporting them on and off the field. As an example, my brother-in-law, whose son was never coached by Saul, told me he was such a nice guy. The last time I saw Saul, he was trying to help a man whose car was not starting after practice. Saul was known to be a gentleman, coaching with enthusiasm, and encouraging excellent sportsmanship in his teams by his example. So much so that even referees have approached me in the last week to express their sorrow at his loss, remembering him as a unique coach. One referee told me, quote, so was always coaching us after every game. So was very approachable and friendly and a few weeks ago, a coach from another club, boys team, asked me about Saul. How is he doing? I heard that he was hospitalized and he's no coach. I met him many years ago, but every time we saw each other, he had time to talk to me and ask me how I was doing with genuine interest. So touched so many lives, so many moments and so many spirits. He was a loyal, caring and dedicated coach, uh, but above all, an excellent person and a role model. We benefit tremendously since he joined our club. We are a small soccer club in Maryland, Topa Juniors FC, but people and coaches like Saul will continue to make us huge. He grew our girls' program from scratch. He was our girls' team coordinator, coaching director, vice president, and became a board, board member of the club. And thanks to his knowledge and hard work, our girls' program is solid and will continue to grow for many years through his legacy. We believe that he has to stay in our program forever. So we are committing part of our program and property to his memory. We not only believe this, but we are already working to create a pavilion in his name at our complex in Urbana. So every time people ask about this pavilion's name, we can explain for many generations to come who saw us what girls and boys should think of him. I thought, why is it so important to be involved in soccer, in coach, and in a community? Because guys like Saul will make us better people, not just better athletes. We will also create Saul Summer Soccer Academy, since he spent every summer coaching our program and kids benefit from spending their summer under his training, and this needs to last forever. <laughs> we can never replace him. But we will make sure so continues to be a role model for every coach in the club. 
So his ideas and coaching philosophy continues to benefit all the kids in our community. In this way, soul can make another impact for years to come. This Pavilion and Summer Soccer Academy will not only be our dream, but I'm sure his dream. He spoke with us several times about the future of the club and the girls' club, the kids. And I have no doubts that he will make this happen. So it's our responsibility to make it happen for him. To all his family and friends, thanks for allow, uh, allowing us to know Saul, for sharing him with us for so many weekend games and weeknights, training hours. Thanks for allowing us to, partic us to participate, remember him today. But most important, we'd like to thank Saul for everything he has done and will continue to do for our club and our community. We love you, so we miss you. We will keep you in our hearts and our community. For doing that, Thank you.